In the previous video, we've learned how to assign different materials to the type flow. And when I wanted to render out the project, I figured out that type flow and Corona renderer are not fully compatible with each other. So as you can see, I cannot render motion blur. And uh, it's kind of weird because when I switch to some frames, there will be the motion blur, but, but in most frames, there will be this problem and I cannot render properly. So since I'm using the beta version of Typhlow and it's not the pro version, I just change the renderer and go fully with Octane. So say hello to my little renderer Octane. And today I want to show you how you can enable motion blur with Octane renderer and make this beautiful render. So let's get started. All right. Let me show you first with a simple example here. And I want to create a simple motion with this sphere. First thing you need to remember is the speed of the object is related to the strengths of the motion blur. Sometimes maybe you enable the motion blur, but because the speed of your object is so slow you do not see the motion blur effect in your camera so the faster the object the stronger the motion blur will become let's open up the settings and open up the renderer you have two ways to enable the motion blur first one is with the actual render settings here and you can go to the camera, go to the motion blur and enable the motion blur from here. But as you can see, when I enable the motion blur, nothing happened. So you need to do one more thing and go to the Octane settings and enable motion blur here as well. So now you can see we've enabled the motion blur. All right. You can also create a camera. Let's say here, for example. In the camera settings, there's also a motion blur. And if you enable override motion blur from here, you disable the motion blur that we've applied in the render settings. So when I enable it, you can see the motion blur is disabled and in order to enable it, I need to enable it from here again. I hope that makes sense, but let me tell you again and let me disable it for now. This motion blur in the render settings, when you enable it, it will be applied to all viewports and cameras. Unless you enable the override motion blur on the selected camera and then you can control the motion blur directly with your camera. I can change the motion blur strength by changing the duration. If I change it to two, it will be stronger. Or if I change it to, for example, 0.1, it will be weaker. So higher numbers make it stronger. Let me show you now how the object speed can affect the motion blur. So let me lock the camera in this viewport and grab the sphere. Here you can see the speed of the, let's say sphere is so much. And if I change it to, let's say for example, 200 and grab this slider all the way to the end you can see we decrease the speed of the sphere and as you can see the strength of the motion blur is greatly decreased so now let me go to my another scene and show you the motion blur with the tie flow so here you can see our tie flow scene and the motion blur is disabled. 
So I grab the camera and enable the override and the motion blur. All right. And you can see, we cannot see the effect here. I grab the tie flow and right click, click on obtain properties. And here you can see the object motion blur is disabled. Enable the object motion blur. And again, you can see nothing will happen. So in these cases, you have to enable vertex motion blur. So by enabling the, if I disable the object motion blur, you can see nothing will happen. By enabling the vertex motion blur, you enable the motion blur here. And again, you can change the settings from the camera. Let's decrease it, maybe 0.5. And there we have it. And thank you for watching. And please support the channel by likes, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one.